ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ಸೌಪ್ಟಿಕ ಪರ್ವ ದ ಟೆಂತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಸೌಪ್ಟಿಕ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಈ ಸಾಟರಿಕ ವಿಚ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ಲಿ ಟು ನೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ಮೈ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ಲಿ ದೋ ನಾಟ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವಾಸ್ಟ್ ಓಷನ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಎ ನೋಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಟೀ ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಎ ನೋಷನ್ ಈವನ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಬಕೆಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಎ ನೋಷನ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಟ್ಯಾಂಕರ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಸೊ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ನೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದ ಮಹಾಭಾರತಂ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಮೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೌಪ್ಟಿಕ ಪರ್ವ ಟೆಂತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ವಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಶ್ವತ್ಥಾಮ ಕೃಪಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೃತವರ್ಮ ಹೂ ಸರ್ವೈವ್ಡ್ ದ ವಾರ್ ದೇ ಟುಕ್ ಎ ವೌ ಆಫ್ ರಿವೆಂಜ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನ ದೇ ಸ್ವೋರ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ರಿವೆಂಜ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟಲಿ ಕೃಪಾಚಾರ್ಯ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಇನ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ದ್ರೋಣಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೃತ ವರ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಯಾದವ ವಾರಿಯರ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಸ್ ಕ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಶ್ವಧಾಮ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ರೋಣಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದೇ ಬೌತ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ದೇ ಸ್ವೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇ ದೇ ಸಾ ದೇ ಸಾ ಎ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಬ್ಯಾನಿಯನ್ ಟ್ರೀ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ದೇರ್ ಕೃಪಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃತ ವರ್ಮ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ದೇ ಲೇ ಡೌನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ಸೋ ಎಕ್ಸಾಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಶ್ವಧಾಮ ಕುಂಟ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನೈಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗ ರಿವೆಂಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯಾನಿಯನ್ ಟ್ರೀ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಅಶ್ವಧಾಮ ನೋಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎ ಬಿಗ್ ಅವುಲ್ ಎ ಟೆರಿಬಲ್ ಅವುಲ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಎ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವೇರ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೋರ್ ದ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಕಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೆಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ಟ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೋಕ್ ದ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆನಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ದಿ ಅವುಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಓ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಕ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ರಿಜಾಯ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಜುಬಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಜಾಯ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎನ್ ಓಮ್ನಿ ಓಮ್ನಿ ಪೋಟೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಲೇಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಶ್ವಧಾಮ ಐ ಗಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೈರ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅವುಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಅ ಲೆಸನ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ ಫೇರ್ಲಿ ವಿತ್ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೈ ಸೊ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಕೆಟ್ ರೆಸಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಅಬೋಕ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಕೃಪಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃತವರ್ಮ ಕೃತವರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ಚೀಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಭೋಜಾಸ್ ಭೋಜರಾಜ್ ಭೋಜರಾಜ್ ಕೆ ಪೂರ್ವಜ್ ತೆ ಪ್ರಿಟಿಸರ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೋಲ್ ದಿಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಕೃಪಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸಗ್ರೀಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಡ್ ನೋ 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 ವಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ನಾನ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟ್ ಧೃತರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಗಾಂಧಾರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿದುರ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಅಶ್ವಧಾಮ ಸೆಡ್ ನೋ 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 ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಗ್ರೀಫ್ ದಟ್ ಗಾಂಧಾರಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಸ್ ಎ
So in this way, Ashwatthama who was afflicted with anger, uh, he could not, uh, he, his reasoning, his mind was completely robbed of all sense. Which is normal for any human who is under the grip of wrath, with lust for wealth, lust for power, who becomes Machiavellian, power hungry, unscrupulous. Such people can never sleep. You can't sleep. Insomnia is the natural state of such people. So also with Ashwadhamma. And he went on arguing, rationalizing that even Pandavas did not observe the rules of Dharma. Mm, they killed Bhishma, Drona, Karna, Bhurishrava, all of them in an adharmic way. You see, this argument holds ground now. But uh, it was all started. Even though the Kabal, even Dhrutrashtra showed a blind eye to the adharma that was being perpetrated. So this is how, you know, people who are basically by nature evil will continue to perpetuate evil and harbor evil in their hearts. <coughs> so then finally he managed to convince these two chaps. They proceeded towards the encampment of the uh, Panchalas within which everybody was asleep. Of course, they didn't know that Pandavas had gone somewhere else. At the gate, Ashwadhamma noticed there was a huge form of Krishna and several thousands of Krishnas were coming out of this image armed with the conscious discus maze and swords. Ashwadhamma used several celestial weapons that, but were the, these were all devoured by Krishna, the Harishikesha. You see the surreal atmosphere. Hmm. So Ashwadhamma was completely nonplussed and exhausted. Then he could see the whole sky was full of images of Sri Krishna. And unable to defeat Krishna, Ashwadhamma began to pray to Mahadeva, Shiva. And at this point of time, uh, uh, many powerful beings were seen again in the sky, coming out of Shiva's personality, uh, not, no, in, from Krishna's personality. All peculiar, um, you know, horrible looking creatures, hmm? striking terror. Ashwadhamma was calmly watching the whole scene while he was praying to Shiva. And then Ashwadhamma finally told Shiva that he is going to cut off his own neck. He is offering himself as a sacrifice to Shiva. I wait as a libation for, for you. Since I am unable to defeat my enemies, accept me, O Shiva. I offer myself as a sacrifice. And thus he wanted to enter the sacrificial fire. He created a sacrificial fire, Yajnam, and he wanted to jump into that. Thereupon Mahadeva appeared. Now Ashwadhamma is also considered a part incarnation of Shiva. Then Shiva appeared and told Ashwadhamma, See, Sri Krishna worshipped me. Shiva Sahasranamam, he chanted. I conferred on him a boon. He got Samba as his son. And Krishna is dearer to me than anything else, my own self. And uh, because of that only I protected the Panchalas. And all those illusions that you saw were my my own. The illusions were created by me to protect them. But their time is up. Because the whole incarnation, all of them descended. You see? Of course, the, he, the, Shiva, Shiva only said this much. Their time is up. They have to go. And because their time is up and they have to go, hmm, their time has come. Their death is imminent. So saying, saying, saying this, Shiva uh, uh, entered Ashwadhamma's body. In fact, the energy of Shiva entered into Ashwadhamma. Otherwise, he couldn't have slain, you know, uh, Drishtadyumna, Shikhandi and Upapandavas who were all very powerful, extraordinarily powerful. Hmm? And uh, he gave Ashwadhamma also a sword, a huge sword, Kati, Talwar. Thus, uh, Ashwadhamma was uh, not aware that, you see, this is all Avatara Purushartham. 
that is you know the gods descended because this whole enactment of mahabharata kurukshetra was done for us humans to learn some lessons many lessons actually but we have forgotten that and we are reading harry potter <laughs> so ashwadhama now possessed of this energy of great of mahadev he went and he was roaring like yama and he kicked drishtadyumna and killed him beheaded him and he beheaded all the upandavas upapandavas pratibindya srutasoma shatanika srutakarma shikhandi and also the sons of virat raj hmm? uh, the soldiers who witnessed this this were trying to run away but they were killed by kritavarma and kripacharya because these two chaps were trying they were on the periphery they were uh, waiting outside the camp to shoot dead they shot dead all these fellows who were trying to escape only one person drishtadyumna's uh, charioteer escaped and informed you the, the uh, much after the whole thing was over so everyone was killed ashwadhama committed the ultimate crime of killing people who were asleep hmm? and uh, the soldiers were so terror stricken that they started fighting and they actually ended up killing each other so a meli m e l e e fist uh, free for all so in the darkness nobody knew what was happening eh hmm? and the rest who tried to run away were killed by kritavarma and kripacharya at the gate hmm? so finally kritavarma and kripacharya also set fire to the camp at uh, three places so eventually ashwadhama killed like a rudra and many rakshasas and pishachas came there and they were gorging on the human flesh and drinking the human blood sumptuously ghostly creatures came they were eating the flesh to the dreadful carnage Ashwadhama's hand itself was looking like a sword. Ashwadhama completely forgot the sorrow of the death of his father Drona. And after that terrible slaughter, Ashwadhama was dancing with joy, dancing with joy. And then they all went to Duryodhana eh, to convey the news that they have finished the Pandavas. And he actually brought the skulls. Ashwadhama carried the five skulls. of the upa pandavas to give them to duryodhana eh? to satisfy duryodhana's lust for revenge and uh, duryodhana actually was in the throes of death he was lying on the floor forest floor and he was surrounded by hyenas jackals vultures and he was tiring and with his uh, mace he was somehow trying to keep them at bay finally duryodhana after all this he died a horrible death eaten alive by wild animals so uh, then when they came these three chaps ashwadhama handed over the five skulls he held them by their locks the hair and showed them bhima saw uh, the uh, duryodhana took bhima's son skull and with his two hands he just crushed it but then he realized this can't be bhima Pandavas children were looking just like Pandavas but uh, when Duryodhana crushed the skull of Bhima's son he realized that that cannot be Bhima because Bhima's skull cannot be crushed by anybody so he said you fool hmm? you are mistaken they are not Pandavas so this is a realization that Ashwadhama got later eh? having killed all these people so then the next thing is Uh, Dushtadyumna's uh, charioteer went and informed Yudhishthira. Yudhishthira fainted. Draupadi was uh, uh, so uh, so disconsolate, and uh, Yudhishthira said, "This victory has become a defeat now." Draupadi fainted, and then she was so angry. She said, "Unless you kill this rascal, this wretch Ashwadhama, along with uh, his other followers, hmm, I will not, uh, you know, rest in peace." So Bhima consoled her. and she also said this dronacharya son has a gem on his head he was born with it bring me that gem so bhima proceeded taking nakula along with him as his charioteer so nakula became the charioteer of bhima krishna immediately said uh, as hey come on arjuna this bhima is on a very dangerous path ashwadhama is a dangerous character he has got the brahmastra and we have to now go and rescue bhima otherwise a great calamity will descend on us So Arjuna and Krishna followed 
Bhima saw Ashwadhamma sitting with Vedavyasa on the banks of Bhagirati river and Bhima proceeded to attack but Ashwadhamma took a blade of grass and used it as a Brahmastra. Krishna asked Arjuna to uh, use the same Brahmastra to neutralize it. So, Brahmastras were shot, Arjuna's Brahmastra neutralized, but then the two Brahmastras were creating havoc in the sky. So, peals of thunder were heard, thousands of meteors were dropping uh, down on the entire sky, on all planets and uh, it was a great calamity. Narada and Vedavyasa both asked both these uh, Maharathis, Arjuna and Ashwadhama to withdraw the weapon because that would cause the destruction of all creation. Arjuna said, ok, I will do that uh, because I had not intended it for any destruction. I had uh, used it only to neutralize the Ash uh, Brahmastra released by Ashwadhama. So, Arjuna could withdraw it because he practiced Brahmacharya. Now, the point here is, uh, Ashwadhama could not withdraw. Ashwadhama also had married, he had children, all that, but he could not withdraw because he was not practicing Brahmacharya. Now, what is Brahmacharya? Many people mistakenly think that Brahmacharya simply means completely avoiding sex and being a celibate, C E L I B A T, like a complete sadhu. No. Arjuna had four wives. Eh? and he had several children, several sons. So, how is he a Brahmachari? Brahmachari therefore means one who enjoys uh, all pleasures which are dharmic within the bounds of dharma, within the bounds of marriage. Okay? So, I do not want to dilate too much on this now. Please try to understand. So, do not be under the mistaken notion Brahmacharya means celibacy, not at all. Krishna is a Nitya Brahmachari. <laughs> Yeah, of course, he had only one wife, Rukmini. All these are poetic creations that he had 16,108 wives. Uh, he can in fact have all, all Jivatmas are Krishna's wives only. So, just as Sita is a representative of Jivatma, Radha is a representative of Jivatma. That is you and I are Radha. There is only one male, Krishna. So, that is bridal mysticism found in Islam and Christianity also. Uh, so, that is one strain of Bhakti. Mirabai openly used to say, who is the other male other than Krishna in this creation? So, all are, all Jeevatmas are females only. So, that is a concept in Bhakti. So, nevertheless, Arjuna could withdraw because he was practicing Brahmacharya. Now, what is the lesson? I suppose you have drawn the lesson. Uh, marry, have children, because only the Guruhastha can support creation. Brahmachari cannot, he is busy acquiring knowledge. Uh, uh, Vanaprasthi, the person who is about 50, beyond 50 till 75, of course, we are not able to live till 100 anyway. So, at some point in your life, you go to Vanaprastha. That means you retire, study holy books and prepare yourself to be able to lead the next generation by imparting spiritual wisdom. That is the stage of Vanaprastha. Vanaprastha is also not working. He cannot earn, so he cannot uh, sustain society. Sanyasa is the last phase after 75 or perhaps, you know, after 60 now. So, again, Sanyasi is not earning anything. So, he is not a productive member of society. He is only a consumer. So, who is the productive member of society? Grihastha. Therefore, being a Grihastha is the ultimate blessing because Grihastha will sustain the entire creation started by Krishna. So, be blessed as a Grihastha. Don't ever think of becoming a uh, sannyasi, celibate when you are 25. Uh, you are fully entitled to enjoy all the pleasures that family life can give you till a certain age of let us say 50 or 60, right? 50. Uh, so, Arjuna could withdraw the Brahmastra because he practiced Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya includes observing, you know, having all the traits, great virtues, forbearance, fortitude, temperance, prudence, faith, hope, charity, all these amazing 26 virtues Krishna lists in the 16th chapter. 16th chapter Bhagavad Gita 1, 2, 3 slokas. 26 eh, sattvic gunas. So, Arjuna had all of them. Ashwadhamma did not have. So, he could not withdraw. He could not withdraw the Brahmastra. And he said, he admitted that he could not. So, he said, now I will have to direct it. It has to hit some target. So, he directed it into the womb of Uttara, the wife of Abhimanyu. And the child who was to be born was Parikshit. 
so the fetus will was born uh, um, what you call uh, uh, the fetus was born dead hmm? still born child it was a still born child krishna infused life into it krishna then said don't worry i will revive that child the fetus will not die i will revive it and it will have a long life and then krishna cursed ashwadhama he cursed ashwadhama for a period of 3000 years you will wander over the earth without a friend eh? without being able to talk to anyone and outside the pale of human society and with the stench of pus and blood and wounds on your body and uh, you will live in uh, all forests and desert areas and you will suffer from all the diseases that are there on the planet this was krishna's curse this was the only curse krishna ever gave to anybody so imagine the kind of people in today's world they are committing unspeakable horrors in the name of their abrahamic cults these people will also incur krishna's curse so anyway by now ashwadhama's curse is over he would have left now there are some people still believe that ashwadhama is still living and he can be seen and all that i don't believe so 3000 years was the time <laughs> span of the curse and vyasa also agreed that yes this rascal ashwadhama deserves this punishment ashwadhama then gave gave away the gem that he had in his forehead and he said i will live with ved vyasa and taking this gem the gem was given to draupadi who gave it to yudhishthira and this gem uh, yudhishthira wore on his crown which shone like it was a resplendent gem and yudhishthira finally asked krishna how could ashwadhama kill so many warriors single handedly how then krishna narrated to yudhishthira how mahadeva shiva entered into ashwadhama's body and how he gave the sword and with him since anyway these warriors had to go back okay the warriors had to go back they had already left they, they just the physical bodies were mutilated by ashwadhama ashwadhama also is an incarnation of shiva this whole thing is a leela there is no explanation here this is how things happen and uh, krishna then explained to yudhishthira there is nothing to worry there is no grief here huh? please understand this is the leela of mahadev in fact mahadev is none other than krishna himself <laughs> and so krishna also explained how uh, the devas also understood and bowed to shiva on the occasion of the destruction and havoc shiva caused by sending hmm, uh, in the daksha yagna Huh? Ah, Daksha Yagna Shiva also Shiva destroyed, isn't it? Many people were slaughtered. Vira Bhadra, Vira Bhadra was a creation of uh, Shiva. In fact, Vira Bhadra is also, as Purana say, had to release Vishnu from the body of Narasimha Avatar because Vishnu entered Narasimha Avatar to Kiran, kill Hiranyakashipu. but after that vishnu's body was so possessed with anger that he became uncontrollable and uh, he was so uncontrollable that uh, his anger could have destroyed all creation so the devas went and prayed to shiva so shiva sent virabhadra so virabhadra wears you can see virabhadra actually released vishnu from the body of narasimha avatar by killing narasimha avatar now it is not literally it's not literally killing it's actually releasing vishnu so even vishnu once he entered that body the anger would not would not subside because of the crimes unspeakable crimes that this fellow committed so he had to be released so shiva released narasimha narasimha avatar vishnu from the body of that narasimha avatar and virabhadra therefore if you see he wears uh, the 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 skin of a lion with the skull of the lion as a trophy he is actually the person who you might say killed narasimha avatar that is shiva that is shiva leela so shiva and krishna and vishnu see all these are lessons again and again repeatedly telling us that you cannot escape the consequences of your actions and don't try to rationalize adharma ha huh? 
but you will be forced to deal with criminals in a language that they understand that is again that is all right but then you will be released it will be painless anyway don't worry so that is how the whole lila is this is how the creation is so krishna then uh, told yudhishthira to worship shiva and understand that this is all shiva's lila that is how the sauptika parva comes to an end i hope you found this discussion interesting and lot of things were there for us to learn isn't it jai shri ram